Hi and welcome to another Agile Ticketing Solutions tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create catalog items for your concessions and merchandise. The first thing that you're going to do is go into the sales folder that you will be housing your concessions or merchandise items. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to select catalog. The next thing you will do is in the product area, we're going to right click in that area and select new. Now there are different sales line types that you can choose from. You can choose from concessions or merchandise or for film festivals, you may actually build ticket packs underneath the concessions and catalog area. But for this purpose, I'm going to create and choose my concessions items. Now the sales line types help separate out your items in the POS system. Next, I'm going to choose my product group. Now I've got some that are pre-built here, but if you need to add a different product group, you click on the ellipsis button and then right click in this area and select new. So for this purpose, I'm going to create hot beverages. And I can put a display sequence so it I tell the system where I want this to appear in the POS in relation to all my other items. Once I've got all of my product groups built, I can hit OK and then choose it from my drop down. Next, I'm going to add the product name. Again, I can add a display sequence so that way it appears uh, in a certain order based on the popularity of that item. I can choose a color if I'd like to actually add a different color behind the button so that way it differentiates from other items in the system. And if I am selling any of these items online for such as merchandise, I want to make sure that I've selected a delivery method that is associated with that item. If this is just going to be sold at your concession stand, all you'll need to do is click on print immediately. You can upload images of your item if you so choose. This works well if you're selling merchandise online. It also allows you to actually have the item appear on the POS screen, but there are other areas where you can upload images as well for the POS. If you're selling items online, you want to make sure that you add a description such as what the t-shirt is and what it's made of, those kind of things. Once you have that all in place, you can go ahead and hit OK to uh, save that information. And the next thing that you're going to do is create your SKU. The product SKU allows you to control your inventory of this item. So for instance, uh, since this product is coffee, I have a large coffee. And my SKU for this item is LRG156. If I have a barcode that that can be scanned on that item, we can add that barcode number here. And we also want to have a display sequence here so that way we know which is uh, the item that you want to appear first online. You can enter in your SKU cost, so what your cost is for that specific item. And in the inventory area, we can enter in the quantity of how many we have in inventory. This is especially helpful when you have limited inventory of merchandise items. Or if this is a concession item that you always sell and you never run out of, you can just check mark unlimited quantity available. On the image tab, you can click the up arrow to upload an image of this item. This will appear on your POS screen if you so choose. 
And once I've got everything set up in this area, I'm ready to hit apply and OK and then build my price. So in the SKU price area, this is what we're actually charging the customer. I'm going to enter in the $3 and make sure that I have my redemption and unredemption codes for revenue reporting selected to my concessions revenue. And in my price type, I'm going to actually enter this in as cup because this is a large cup. You can also enter in 16 ounce or 20 ounce, those kind of things. Keep it very generic for your concessions area. Next, I'm going to make sure that I've got everything in place. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply here. And if I were selling online, I could add new and change my sales channel. If I have a member discount, we want to make sure that we're right clicking in this area and selecting new and enter in my member discount. So we want to call this a member cup of Joe. And now I've uh, selected apply and now I have everything in place to sell my item. So once I've got everything built, I'm going to go back up to my product, right click and select properties and turn my box office items on sale. Make sure that when you set everything on sale that you also extend it out to many years out into the future so it never goes off sale, especially if it's an unlimited item. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions or need more information, feel free to contact us at support at agiletics.com.